Hello and welcome to Nikolai's Genetics Lessons and today's problem is consider the following mouse pedigree in which the indicated male exhibits a distinctive rare trait, assume complete penetrance and that no new mutations arose in any of the individuals in this problem. And question A, assuming that the trait is autosomal recessive, calculate the probability that an offspring from the indicated brother-sister mating will exhibit the trait. If this trait is autosomal recessive, we assume that this individual who is affected would have genotype which is going to be small a, small a genotype. And both parents are phenotypically normal, but they have to be a carrier, so the genotype have to be capital A and small a both. And this female mice, as we see, of the normal phenotype, but she can be with a capital A, capital A genotype or capital A, small a. So she may inherit two normal alleles from both parents, or she may inherit dominant allele and recessive allele. If she would inherit two recessive alleles, her phenotype would be affected. So what is the probability that this female is a carrier? So take a look. One parent is heterozygous, another parent is also heterozygous. And if we build simple Punnett square, we would be able to find her probability of being also a heterozygous. So capital A, capital A here, capital A, small a here, capital A, small a here, and small a, small a here. We know that she doesn't belong to this genotype. So we exclude this variant. We know that she's phenotypically normal. So she belongs to this group. As I said, she can be homozygous dominant or she can be heterozygous. So her probability of being carrier would be two out of three, two thirds. And now, so let's put capital A and small a and probability is two thirds. And for this male, probability as you see 100%, so one over one. Now when we know that one parent is homozygous recessive, another one have probability two thirds or 66.6% .6 of being a carrier, we can find the probability that the offspring would be affected. So take a look, one parent is homozygous recessive, another is carrier and probability for the offspring to have this genetic disorder would be as follows. Capital A, small a here, capital A, small a here, small a, small a, and small a, small a here. So probability would be 50% that the offspring would be affected and another 50% that would be phenotypically normal. And our final calculation would be as follows. So one over one, this is genotype of the father, which is homozygous recessive. We know that father is 100% homozygous recessive. We have to multiply by probability that this female is heterozygous. We know that her phenotype is normal and we are interested in the probability that she carries recessive allele, which is two thirds and we have to multiply by the probability if they belong to these genotypes then the probability that the offspring would have this genetic disorder would be 50 percent so we have to multiply by one half and the answer is going to be one times two is going to be two times one is going to be two so two in nominator and in denominator, one times three is going to be three times two is going to be six. So two over six, which equal also to one third. So we have found the probability that the offspring would be affected with this genetic disorder. So this is an answer to the first question. Now let's check the second question. Assuming that the trait is X-link recessive, Calculate the probability that the male offspring from the brother-sister mating will exhibit the trait. 
Now our calculations are going to be as follows. So this time we assume that this is X-linked recessive genetic disorder. So we assume that this male has normal X chromosome and normal Y chromosome because it is unaffected. And this female also unaffected, but she has two X chromosomes. And because the son of this couple is affected, then we have to assume that this female has one defective X chromosome and one normal X chromosome. Because this is X-linked recessive genetic disorder, this female phenotype is normal. But this male inherited this defective X chromosome from the mother side. So defective X chromosome from the mother side and from the father side, this male inherited Y chromosome, which is normal. And now phenotype of this male is affected because this male has one defective X chromosome and no other X chromosome with normal allele on it. So this male is affected. Now we have to find the probability that this female also has defective X chromosome inherited from the mother side in order to pass it to the progeny. So let's find the probability. Take a look. We know that father have to be phenotypically and genotypically normal. So genotype of the father have to be normal X, normal Y chromosome. We know that mother have to be obligate carrier. So one X chromosome have to be defective. Now let's build simple Punnett square and let's find the probability for the female offspring of this couple to be a carrier. Take a look. Normal X, normal X here. Normal X, normal Y here. Defective X chromosome from the mother side. Normal X chromosome from the father side. Defective X chromosome from the mother side. And normal Y chromosome from the father side. As you see, 100% of the female progeny are going to be phenotypically normal. But 50% of the female progeny would be carrier. So phenotype would be normal, but would be carrier. So let's put this here. So probability of such genotype would be 50% in female progeny. So we put one half here. Now let's return to our question. Assuming that the trait is X-link recessive, calculate the probability that the male offspring from this brother system rating will exhibit the trait. So we are looking for the probability that male progeny of this mating would exhibit this trait. Now let's build another simple Punnett square. So this time we assume that male is affected with this genetic disorder and genotype is defective X and normal Y chromosome. So this is this male and 50% chance is that female is a carrier. So her genotype would be defective X and normal X chromosome. Again, we build simple Punnett square and let's take a look what we are going to see in the progeny. Defective X chromosome from the mother side and father side, defective X chromosome from the mother side, normal Y chromosome from the father side, and normal X chromosome from the mother side, defective from the father side, and normal X chromosome from the mother side, and normal chromosome Y from the father side. As you see, for the male progeny, so he is a male progeny, probability to be affected with this genetic disorder is going to be 50%. Another 50% is uh, going to be phenotypically and genotypically normal. So we put one half probability for the progeny to be affected. But we show that this male 100% have this defective X chromosome. Mother probability is one half. So our calculations are going to be as follows. So one over one times one over two. This is probability for the mother to be a carrier and times 
one half. This is a probability that uh, the male progeny would be affected. Our final answer is going to be one quarter or 25% probability that the male progeny would be affected. Now let's return to our questions and let's put our answer here for the second question, which is going to be one quarter. And the last question, assuming that the trait is X-link recessive, calculate the probability that the female offspring from the brother sister mating will exhibit the trait. Now let's return to our calculations and take a look. For female to exhibit this genetic disorder, female have to inherit two defective X chromosomes. One defective X chromosome is not enough, like in a case with a male. So female have to inherit two defective X chromosomes. So we know that genotype of the father, he have to be obligate carrier of this defective X chromosome. We know his genotype, but mother has 50% probability that she is a carrier. And only in this case, 50% uh, of the females would be affected. So calculations are going to be the same. For the father, it's one over one. For the mother, it is one half. And we have to multiply by one half the probability that uh, female progeny would inherit two defective X chromosomes. So the answer is going to be the same, one quarter. So we can put it here. So the answer to the last question also is going to be one quarter. And this is all for today. Subscribe and see you in the next video. Goodbye.